In this video we're going to review how to export a DM in LP360. So I already loaded my LAS data set. I'm going to go to export LiDAR data option here at the top. I'm going to choose my export type is going to be surface. Uh, we already have elevation uh, chosen by default. Uh, you can uh, export it in multiple formats. I'm going to choose binary raster. The cell edge length is going to be the resolution uh, of the DEM. Usually choose a half foot. My uh, data set is in US survey feet, so this would be half foot. Um, you can auto compute cell size, or you can choose uh, whatever resolution you want. Uh, source points, uh, let's say you had classified um, your data set, um, all the ground points to ground, you just wanted to. Uh, export the ground classification points. You could do that here. Uh, for this data set, um, nothing has been classified. I'm just going to go ahead and classify all, uh, or export all points. You could also, if you had some break lines that you want to enforce here uh, for the elevation, you could do that here. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. I'm just going to use the basic extent to export, but you can do custom extents to export. Uh, those are Eastings, Northings. Um, we also have uh, the current map extent. So uh, whatever zoom, say you were zoomed into the map somewhat, you're just going to export that uh, area of the map that you're zoomed into. You can draw a window in the map to specify an area that you wanted to export the points from. For this example, we're just going to do the extent of the, the whole LAS layer. Uh, you could even have um, a polygon that um, defines the area and you could export uh, or cookie cut based on that polygon. Let's go ahead and choose next. We're just going to do the active extent. We're just going to choose a uh, export location. I usually create a folder called DEM. We'll call this DEM example. Save finish. The length of time this takes to export is going to be dependent on the size of your data set. You know, obviously if you had a lot of points uh, classified and you just chose one classification to such as ground to export, um, it's going to take less time than if you choose all points. It's already finished here. Let's click OK. You can see um, the DEM being displayed. Uh, I'm going to right click and remove that. One thing you can do is uh, let me click on uh, the add data button here at the top. We can convert that DEM. Let's say you wanted to share this with uh, someone else and they also had LP360 um, and they wanted to create a LAS file uh, based on the DEM. Uh, you can do that here. Let's click on the plus button here. We're going to choose that um, FLT file we just created open and you can uh, choose the last format all the all the formatting here um, for uh, how you want to import that we're going to go ahead and click OK and so it's created that LAS file based on that DM that we created of course it's going to be at that resolution I created as well so this should be a coarser data set than our original one because our GSD I think in our original one was somewhere around four centimeters um, so um, you know right around an inch or so so um, which would be a twelfth of a foot resolution so it's going to be a little bit better, better resolution than what we just created but I'm just showing how easy it is to import a DEM and create last data based on that uh, so that's how you um, create and import DEMs in LP360